Can you hear me? What it do, being a crew? I'm back with another video. Now, people been messaging me lately, just saying how they don't even know how to do their eyebrows. So, how are they gonna do a full face? So, you know what I'm here today to do? Snatch your eyebrows with just drugstore products. We talking about cheap stuff. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. For one day. Yeah. My bitch loves Coco. <laughs> Woo back, baby. Woo back, baby. Woo. Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you my everyday makeup look. And even though I don't wear makeup every day, this is something I would do if I did. I will be showing you the process of what I do on myself. So let's get started. Okay, it is day 500 of freaking quarantine. So I'm apologizing in advance because my eyelash extensions look like cockroach legs. Okay, I'm going to stop myself right here because I do tend to ramble. Now, I'm not going to do much talking during this video, but hopefully you can look and learn and get new products for the low. This is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in shade Bangin' Brunette. If you don't have this, you need it. So I just suggest that you get it now. Okay, we're going to start by underlining the lower part of your brow. Now I'm brushing down my hair so I can see where the brow should connect. As you can see here, I'm replacing the missing hairs with the fill-in from the pencil. That's how I know my actual brow shape and I'm not going too big or too small. You shouldn't be overlining your brows. You should follow the natural shape. Hold on, is she using lash glue? Yup. I know, I know. I get it looks crazy, but it helps with keeping those unstable brow hairs down. And if you know, you know. Now this is my Bare Minerals Concealer Brush. Now it is on the expensive side, but all I would recommend is a round concealer brush that lays flat. As long as you got that, your eyebrows is gonna be perfect. Now I have my Pro Conceals in Toffee and Beautiful Bronze. I have this cream palette from my beauty supply. I just mix those two together. I'm using some concealer that matches the top and bottom of my eyebrow just because I want an eyebrow that looks full but still natural. Now I'm using my Morphe 173 brush to blend out my eyebrows. Now sometimes you might mess up, so it's okay to go back and fill it in with that extra brow gel. Now you don't have to do this, but I tend to go back and highlight the under arch of my eyebrow. Now I recommend this palette from Black Radiance. As you can see, I used a lot of it and I'm just now realizing it. I normally use it as contour, but today I'm using it as eyeshadow. Primer is not essential to everybody, but I would suggest this primer, especially if you're trying to ball on a budget. I have my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 355 Coconut. Now, shh, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I mix my primer with my foundation. I'm a real chemist out here. I'm blending my foundation with these brushes from The Lash Factor. Shout out to them, because their brushes are the bomb. Now, I'm not the one of Bass brands, but these lashes were terrible. <laughs> like, look at my face. can move on because I found some better lashes. Now back to using my Pro Conceals because we're about to highlight my under eyes and bags. Quarantine has had me staying up late. I'm not gonna lie. 
Now, I know it looks weird, but you just gotta trust the process. Cause my skin is kind of weird. I don't really have one solid tone. Like I have dark and high tones in my skin color. <laughs> I'm pushing through the pain. Anyways, I use my Mario Betescu setting spray. My favorite, my favorite. Bruh, my facial expressions are killing me. Anyway, moving on. So after heavily damping my sponge, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend, blend away. And if you don't know how to blend, the secret is keep pressing, that's it. Now I mainly use this contour stick for contour only, but they can be used for other purposes as well, even foundation. Um, they retail for $16, but it is a good price considering that they're easy to blend with. Now I'm picking up my Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in Cassava. I'm tapping my sponge because you don't need much setting powder. I mean, the more setting powder, the more you have to worry about looking like a ghost. After baking, I'm just swiping away the excess powder with my foundation brush. Safe to say I was feeling myself. Now I have my Juvia's Place Royalty 2 Loose Highlighter. Now of course I'm excited because the highlighter doesn't have too much shine, but it don't have too little shine. Now I forgot to record me setting the makeup, but after lining my lips, let's come back with the final look. Hope you guys loved and enjoyed this video. Please make sure you subscribe. Let me see some. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let me see some. Okay, okay. Okay, okay.